Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about an interesting topic which is does it rain on other planets? Okay, let's see it. Here on earth, we are used to certain kind of weather. It might be unpredictable and scary at times, but at least we know that everything falling out of our atmosphere and onto the ground is water in some form or another. You would be excused, therefore, for thinking water when considering the question of rain on other planets. But you would be wrong all the same. Yet is only the planet that has liquid water. There is indeed rain falling from clouds on other planets, but it's not water, not even close. Let's start with perhaps the most intriguing substance that might be raining down on a number of planets. Diamonds. Yes, diamonds. About 1000 tons, which means 907 metric tons, a year fall on Saturn. But before you start devising a way to make a fortune by collecting diamonds in our outer, play, outer space, we need to tell you that this is not a cold, hard fact. It's still an unpublished theory, a theory by planetary scientists at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, but an unproven nonetheless. According to the findings, diamond rain falls on Saturn, Neptune and Jupiter, among others. But Saturn might have the best conditions for it. Saturn's intense lightning storms, that is 10 strikes per second, can cause the methane molecules in its atmosphere to break up, leaving carbon atoms to float freely and start falling to the ground. They transform into graphite as they travel through Saturn's dense, layered atmosphere and eventually get pressurized into tiny diamond pieces. But about 22,000 miles, which means 36,000 kilometers in, things get too hot and the diamonds decompose into a musy liquid. Not into diamonds? Head to Venus for some refreshing, incredibly hot sulfuric acid rain. Venus' atmosphere is full of sulfuric acid clouds. But because the surface of the planet hovers at a balmy 894 degrees Fahrenheit, which means 480 Celsius, the rain only gets about as close as 15.5 miles, which means 25 kilometers, to the surface before it becomes a gas. Over on Titan, Saturn's largest moon, there are icy methane rainstorms. Just as Earth has a water cycle, Titan has a methane cycle. There are seasonal rains, the methane rain fills up lakes. The lakes eventually evaporate and the vapor ascends into the clouds, starting the whole thing over again. Methane is in its liquid form on Titan because the surface temperature is an extremely chilly minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, which means minus 179 degrees Celsius. There are also solid ice mountains on Titan. These cases are just the start of the conversation about rain on other planets. We did not even get into dry ice snow on Mars, liquid helium rain on Jupiter, and plasma rain on the Sun. It is fascinating stuff, but we will leave the horrific flesh melting precipitation to the rest of the solar system. Please, we are just fine stuck with gold old lukewarm rainwater. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos.